morning, Brooklyn, and happy Thursday. Welcome back to Homeschool with Carly, where I share a lesson every single day that you can either watch or follow along. Today's lesson is really special because we are going to learn about air pressure. And there are different types of air pressure, and we are going to learn that through a simple experiment. So for this experiment, all you need is two supplies. You need a straw. I'm going to use this glass straw because it's clear and it will help you to see the liquid that's going to be inside. And you will need a glass cup or jar filled with water. Okay, so I have just the glass cup filled with water and I have it filled about most of the way up, but it doesn't matter how far it is up for the experiment. Okay, so everybody knows that if I wanted to drink this water, I would just stick the straw in and I would use the power of my mouth and suck the water directly out of the straw, right? But did you know that even though this straw is sitting in the water, there is still water inside the straw, right? The water is in the glass, right? And then I place the straw in the water and because there is a hole directly down the center of the straw, the water is also in the straw. Now, if I pull the straw directly up out of the water, there's no water in it, right? But if I place my finger on the top of the straw and I pull the straw up, now there's water in the straw. Can you see the water is right there, right inside the straw? And if I were to let go of my finger, the water's going to come out. Now you watch. See? How cool is that? So how come when I place my finger directly on top of the straw, the water stays inside the straw? Well, that's called air pressure. So when I look at this straw, okay, there's two ends to the straw. There's this side which was in the water, and then there's this side, which was above the water. So there are two kinds of air pressure. There is an upward force, and there is a downward force, okay? So when I placed my finger directly on top of here, I stopped that downward force of air. And that downward force of air is what causes the water to go back down into the glass, right? So when I lift my finger, the water goes back inside the jar, right? That's a downward force, right? So that air pressure is pushing down on that water and pushing the water directly back into the jar outside of the straw. But when I place my finger directly on top of the straw, I am stopping that downward force of air from coming down and pressing on the water. So that way the water stays directly inside the straw, right? Because I'm locking the air that's inside the straw right here, okay? So this finger is stopping the air, and it, the air, there is air in here, right? But it's stopping any other air pressure from pushing downwards. Now. There is another type of air pressure, which is an upward force that's coming from down here at the bottom. So when I push my finger directly on here, well, there is an air pressure that's forcing upwards and keeping the water inside the straw, right? So what that means is that the air pressure that's pushing up is a lot stronger than the pressure that's pushing down, right? So when I stopped that downward pressure, that downward air pressure from pushing the water out of the straw, the water stayed inside the straw, right? But there's an air pressure that's below the straw that's pressing up and pushing the water back inside the straw and keeping it there. So this is a really great experiment to show you how air pressure works up with a straw, which has two openings, right? There's an opening on the top and an opening on the bottom. So there's air pressure pressing down, much like gravity, right? Gravity pulls things down. Well, the air pressure that's pushing the water in is a lot stronger than gravity, which is really cool. 
So this experiment explains exactly why the water is able to stay inside the straw. And that is called an upward air pressure that's pushing the water directly back into the straw. And when I place my finger on top of the straw, it keeps any other air pressure that's trying to push the water out of the straw from happening. This is a really great experiment that you can do anywhere, even at your local diner. So I hope that you enjoyed this experiment and I hope that this helped to explain why this happens. And I will see you on Exercise Friday. Bye!